horns like a big hopper. That doesn't look like a hopper. You must use your imagination, Sarah. Yep, yep, yep. It won't look like what it's supposed to look like unless you can imagine it. I still don't see a hopper. Okay, Ducky, your turn. <gasps> that one looks like sweet bubbles. <laughs> oh, I am sorry, Spike. It only looks like sweet bubbles, but it is not. No, no, no. <laughs> but maybe you can find some in the trees. <laughs> Hey! Look at that one! Chomper! And he is eating the sweet bubbles. But I don't even like sweet bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> Petrie? Spike? Spike, what you do? Oh no! No! All I see is the day in front of us. All I see is the day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Burning bright with a newborn Come sun. Come follow me. Hills to climb and valleys to roam. Oh, streams to follow all the way home. To the land before time. Say, me not believe it. <laughs> Spike, are you sick inside? <laughs> oh, you just ate it red tree stars. He eat tickly red tree stars. And? Everyone know you know eat tickly tree stars. Tickly tree stars, bad luck. Everyone know that. No one knows that. I've seen this before. It's rare and very sweet. But it doesn't bring bad luck. <gasps> Spike, no! Give me bad luck, tree stars! Oh. See? Me not fall if Spike not eat tree stars. That's not why you fell. Look, Petrie, if Spike doesn't eat any more tickly tree stars, will you stop talking about bad luck? No, it's not okay. Me Uncle Toronto, no leaf eater who no leaf eater who eat it and get bad luck. <laughs> Uncle Toronto, that guy's full of crazy stories. Me no, and me not stop thinking about them. So try to think about something you're not thinking about. Like what? What about a different story? Ruby is a good storyteller. Yup, yup, yup. Sure. How about one that takes place in the mysterious beyond? Chomper and I were on our way to the Great Valley, and Red Claw was trying to stop us. What is that smell? I don't smell anything, but your sniffer does smell more smells than mine. Ew, it's awful. More awful than getting caught by Red Claw? Then follow me while I lead. Ah! 
surprised because he wasn't expecting it. Wait a minute. You're telling me water just jumped out of the ground? <laughs> you have some imagination, Ruby. But I saw it too. Yeah, right. Well, maybe it's something you have to see yourself to know you saw it. Huh? You want us to go to the mysterious beyond just to see waters jump? No, Sarah. Though, it's really not that far into the mysterious beyond. Yeah, it's just beyond the sheltering grass. I would like to see the waters that jump into the sky. Yup, yup, yup. <laughs> I'd like to see it too. I don't believe you guys are serious about this. You'll believe it when you see it. Adventuring, adventuring. To the jumping water place. You really think that water jumps? How about rocks or big tree stumps? And what if bad luck come with us? Don't make a fuss. I know the man. Okay, fine. Let's go see this water that supposedly jumps. <gasps> I cannot wait to see water that jumps. Yup, yup, yup. What's wrong, Ruby? Uh, nothing. Just, uh, this tree isn't as familiar as I remembered it. We lost. We lost! Oh, this is Spike's fault. He ain't bad luck tree stars. <laughs> How can we be lost when we're going somewhere that doesn't even exist? Oh, wait. We just go this way. And we're on our way. See, Petrie? Nothing bad has happened. There's no reason to be scared of bad luck. It have been good trips so far. Maybe bad luck get lost instead of us. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we have good trip. <gasps> it's okay. It's probably just... Scaredy eggs want to go back. That's okay with us. Me too. Well, I'm not a scaredy egg. Petrie, big scaredy egg. Oh, too big a scaredy egg to go back alone. That for sure. Hey, wait for me. Something bad happened? <sighs> no, everything's fine. Let's go. Littlefoot, you are not 
walking the way you usually do. Don't don't worry about it. <gasps> we wouldn't have to worry if we knew what not to worry about. I stepped on a ground prickly. <gasps> oh no no no! Shh. It it doesn't hurt that bad. But if Petrie finds out. Mm, he'll think it's bad luck that brought you bad luck. Me feel bad, Spike so hungry. Yeah, and whose fault is that? If you weren't so afraid of bad luck, maybe he could eat. Maybe you find delicious no bad luck tree star there. Spike, what are you doing? Uh -oh. Get out! Spike, why do you have a log on your head? Because Spike have bad luck. And because me think they're tree stars in log. Careful, Spike! Duck! <laughs> See? Spike never should eat bad luck plant. No, Petrie. You're saying that he has bad luck is the problem. Huh? It's all Spike's fault! <laughs> Surprise, Skywater! Happens all the time! And the sky puppies we saw earlier usually mean Skywater later. But still... Uh, could we talk about this somewhere drier? Look! The water's jumping! If Ruby says there is water that jumped, then I know there is. And I want to see it. <laughs> well, we're not going anywhere with all this... Sky water? Hey! The bright circle is coming out from behind the sky, Puffies. Then we will go see the waters that jump. Yup, yup, yup. But nothing else better happen. The sky water caused the running mud. That's all. But what caused the sky water? <laughs> and sky fire. Sky fire bad luck. And you got a ground prickly in your foot. <gasps> ground prickly? Oh, that very bad luck. Thanks, Ducky. Well, we're not having all bad luck. The running mud slid us all the way to the end of the sheltering grass. Okay. Everybody ready? I think yes. so. Yes. Yeah. No. Well, let's get this over with. Everything's going to be fine. Oh, everything fine. Everything fine, everything fine, everything fine, everything fine, everything fine.
knows where we're going. I think she's right. Because I can smell something. It's not so bad once you get past the stinky pools, remember? That sure smells bad. Yup, yup, yup. I still don't see jumping water. <gasps> wow. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Just wait. You still have to see what you haven't seen yet. Okay, yup, yup, yup. <laughs> oh. <coughs> oh no. Oh no, no. 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 Uh-oh, Spike. The stinky pools have made you stinky. Worse than usual. See? Bad luck. Oh, this day doomed from the start. Let's just get him cleaned up. <laughs> Stay there. <laughs> Does he still smell bad? We get the mud off. Whew. <coughs> oh! No, oh, he still smell. Bad luck. Well, we have to go home now anyway. I don't care how far back he is, I can still smell him. From now on, everybody listen to Petrie. Petrie right. Spike make bad luck when he eat tickly red tree stars. You know, Petrie, I... <laughs>
<laughs> They're gone. Why? I don't know. I think you do, Chomper. Sharp teeth like you can smell things much better than we do. So if we don't like the smell, Red Claw must hate it. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you! Thanks, thank you! Spike. Oh, Spike! It's good luck you fell in mud and smell so bad. Wait! First it was bad luck, now it's good luck? It wasn't good luck. It was good thinking. Right, Spike? <laughs> First time for everything. Good luck, bad luck, me no care. As long as we safe. Thank you, Spike. <laughs> Your smell is not so bad. No, no, no. The days of rising waters have just started. Meaning me snuggling stick. Now, now, don't worry, kids. We'll be safe here in our nest. the day in front of us. for coming, kids. You'll be a big help. I hate to 
say it, I'm hungry. Mmm. Jump! A ground crawler! No. <laughs> Aw, all the sky water is making it hard to find food. I'm getting really hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love the days of rising waters. I do, I do. When is this dumb old sky water gonna stop already? <laughs> Never mind those swimmers, Trisha. They're not having as much fun as they seem like they are. Hello, Sarah and Trisha. Today is a great day for swimming. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. So why don't you just keep on swimming then? You do not want to join us? Playing in Skywater Puddles is oh, so much fun. <laughs> well, Trisha and I are having just as much fun right here. Thank you very much. <laughs> but you do not look like you are having fun. What do you mean? I'm sure we are. Tag, you're it, Trisha. <laughs> hey, Trisha! No! <laughs> Come back! Well, at least we have some of our home left. It's not much, but it's a good start. What are you doing? Me put nest back together. The ledge can't hold our nest anymore, Petrie. But that our home. It's not safe. But we cover it to keep water out. The days of rising waters won't be over for a while. If we stayed here, we'd have to rebuild our nest over and over again. Oh. I'm sorry, kids, but I'm afraid we have to move. Okay. Okay. Move! <laughs> Ducky, what are you doing? My sister can't swim. <laughs> she does not have to swim in the water. She can stand in the water. <laughs> Trisha, come out of there right now. Trisha wouldn't have jumped in. Uh, I am sorry. I did not mean... Ducky, the days of rising waters can be really dangerous for young ones like Trisha. <laughs> <laughs> but Trisha wants to go back in. What will we do? <laughs> not we. I. I am going to teach Trisha to swim. You? But three horns are not the best to swimmer, Sarah. Hmm. <laughs> Three horns can do anything. Move! Move! Oh, but me no want to move. Me love our home. I know, Petrie. I love our home, too. But we need to find a new home. A safer home. But new home won't be our home. It'll be okay, Petrie. When me and Ruby first moved to the secret caverns, I thought they were dark and cold and really scary. But it turned out to be a great place to live. I love my new home. Well, me love me old home. Me no want new home. Me love me old nest. It not fair. Skywater wash it away. Stay. 
You've got to go. It's not safe to live here. You must know. Moving's the best thing for you. And your mom and Billy, too. It is true. But me know what to have to say goodbye to you, me friend. Do not cry. It's really not the end. Me still must leave. Bye-bye, old home. Bye-bye, old friends. Petrie, just because you're leaving your old home doesn't mean you're leaving your friends, too. Yes! In fact, we're going to help you move. Really? Okay, then. We have a nest to move. Hey, Trisha, take your front feet and paddle, like this. Oh, do not forget her back feet. Her back feet are very... I'm getting to that. <laughs> Trisha, that's enough. Now paddle your back feet, like this. should not be paddling. They should be kicking. <sighs> All right, Ducky. Since you know so much about swimming, why don't you teach her? But swimmers do not teach each other how to swim. We just swim. Well, three horns don't. But thanks to you, baby Trisha wants to be a swimmer. <laughs> <laughs> that is not such a bad thing. It is if she can't swim. And if something happens to her during the days of rising waters, it'll be all your fault. Oh, no. I would not want anything bad to happen to Trisha. No, no, no. Good. Then just teach Trisha how to swim. <gasps> now. I will try. Okay? We're okay. Yep. Yes. Oh. Old home, new home. Right now, me take any home. Hey, how about right under those tree branches? Those branches aren't thick enough to shelter us, Petrie. But uh, what if we never find a new home that's right for us? We will. First, move your arms, oh, well, your legs, in circles like this. <laughs> oh, good. Okay, now move your uh, um uh, other legs like this. <laughs> that is a good start. Now we will try it in water. That's great, Ducky. You've taught Trisha to make a bigger splash. <laughs> it is a start. <laughs> Whew. We sure 
We're glad you find us a place to rest. It's more than a place to rest, Petrie. This is our new home. New home? This no look like home to me. It will, after we build our nest. Yeah! for helping us with our big move, kids. That's what friends are for. Hmm. Still no look like home. But look, Petrie, we've got lots of stuff from your old nest. And we're on a rocky ledge, just like your old nest. And there's lots of nice views from here, just like there were from your old home. Hmm. Maybe. Okay, me make new nest look like old nest. This stick go here, this stick go there, this stick go half here and half there, right next to me snuggling stick. <gasps> Where me snuggling stick? We may have lost it on our way up the hill. Lost it? Oh, me can't lost it. Me, me had snuggling stick since me come to Great Valley. Me no sleep without it. Me go find it! Petrie, no! This area is too dangerous, and you're too little. I'll go look for it. I'm 
okay. But poor Chopper had to eat through a lot of mud to rescue me. Mm. It's all right. The mud's yucky. But there's some delicious ground crawlers in it. Mm. Ew! You may be gross, Chomper, but you are hero. Thanks for saving our mom, Chomper. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, what can we say? We know how to pick great friends. How can you call yourself a swimmer if you can't teach Trisha to swim? I am sorry, Sarah, but I think learning to swim takes time and patience, especially for a three horn. Well, we're out of time, and I'm out of patience. <gasps> Trisha? Oh, no, where'd she go? <laughs> Trisha learned how to swim. I did teach her. I did. I did. Okay, fine. You did a good job. Thank you, Sarah. Now Trisha is an even better swimmer than you are. Better than me? <laughs> I don't think so. Watch this! See? I'm the best three-horned swimmer there ever was! That is not saying much. <laughs> <laughs> The sky water stopped. And look, the bright circle is coming out. You know, me not miss old nest no more. Cause everything me love about old home, here in new home. Me feel so happy, me want everyone to see. Me like the bright circle, all shiny inside of Tonight, even without snuggling stick. I'm sorry I couldn't save it for you, Petrie. Oh! That reminds me. <gasps> me snuggling stick! I found it when I was digging down there. Oh. Wow. Thanks, Chomper. Now me real feel at home. <laughs> what kind of adventure is it if we don't explore anything? But we are exploring the caves. Well, I'm bored with the caves. Ah, <sighs> see, this is better. <laughs> oh, the bright circle is much brighter out here. Well, we have been in the caves longer than we have been out of them. Hey, wait for me! <laughs> <laughs> Do you want some help? Perhaps some help would help you. It's not too high. <laughs> there you go. I've never been here before. That's the point of having an adventure. Say, this place reminds me of some place. 
Maybe you've been here before. Hmm, maybe. But everywhere I've been in the Great Valley, you've been too. It does not look familiar to me. No, no, no. Red Claw! Now I remember this place! It's... <gasps> All I see is the day in front of us. All I see is the day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Come follow me. Hills to climb and valleys to roam. Oh, streams to follow our way home. To the land before time. We'll be okay as long as we stick together. Right, together. So they can eat us together? What are you 
you doing way up there? Are you okay? I think so. Are you all unhurted too? <laughs> A little shaken by the earth shake, but we're okay. I think we lost Thud. That's good. Except, well, we're up here. And there is no way off. No, no, no. There must be another way around to that ledge. There is always another way. Unless that is the only way. Don't worry, we'll find a way. I do not like being up so high. No, no, no. I think it's kind of neat. Uh, besides, our friends will help us. from his claws. And his teeth. There is not very much room for us and Thud. And Thud's teeth. Oh, I do not like being this close to a sharp tooth. Oh, well, this close to a mean one, I mean. just came this way. That dumb old earth shake changed everything. That earth shake also helped us escape Thud. You have to take the good with the bad. Otherwise, you won't get to take anything. Hmm. That good. But Chopper and Ducky know here. We no go back. Not without our friends. <laughs> but they on high and rocky ledge. Me no know how to help them. Neither do I. But we'll find a way. That ridge that leads back towards them might help us reach them. Then let's go. Not. 
but I wish I could help him. If we do, he'll just eat us sooner. He's a sharp tooth. That's what they do. You are also a sharp tooth, and that is not what you do. Oh, he sounds more herded. Well, he does have rocks on his tail. Here all night, that nasty thud gave me a fright. And he is much too big to fight. Ducky, don't be afraid. I'm sure our friends are on the way. Stay close to me and you will see. Rescue us. <laughs> but they are our friends. Is that not what friends do? I guess not in the mysterious beyond. <laughs> Why Petrie no like adventures? Wish me not go adventuring, adventuring, adventuring. Wish me not go adventuring. Me not be here right now. Petrie, please, you must be brave while we still have. Do it even if we don't know how. 
back to Cliff's. Nice work, Ruby. Don't thank me yet. We still have to save Ducky and Chomper. Oh, I am sorry you are in pain. But I am not sorry you cannot reach us and then eat us. No, no, no. He said I'm too little, and he's right. If he gets loose, I'm too little to protect us. Or help us get out of here. I'm too little to do anything. You are sad about being little, but that is only on the outside. Today, you've been big enough on the inside to make me feel safe. You have, you have. Hey! Are you all right? I am now! <laughs> oh, behind you! Me see Thud! Thud! Don't worry. Thud won't hurt us. Maybe it's a different Thud? He cannot get to us. He is stuck. <laughs> Me stay away, just in case. And we will rescue you. Also, just in case. That one, Spike! Is big. Our friends may be littler than Red Claw, but they always help us because they are big inside. together when we are someplace else together. Like home!
Red Claw and Fudd had us for sure. Me too. This is the place we left, right where we left it. Little hatchlings first. That's me. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> 